Okay, welcome to our fourth string using the double number line. Great tool. I hope I'm explaining it to uh, to help you, but we'll we'll stick in there with it. And I'll keep trying to say things in different ways and fresh ways to make use of this double number line. Remember, this is double because on the top we have fractions, and the, on the number line we have whole numbers, and we're connecting the fractional amounts to whole numbers, and I, it'll make sense. Um, here we're adding thirds and fifths. Thirds and fifths are friendly we think in terms of 15, right? Two-thirds, how far am I going to hop? Well, three goes into 15 five times. So every third is like five. So we're going up two-thirds. Let's go hop all up to ten. All right, two-thirds is like going up ten in regard to 15, right? Those things are the same. One-fifth, well, fi well, five goes into 15 three times. So one-fifth will hop up three. And that brings you to 13. So if I add these two, what I really get is 13 out of 15. And we'll go now with blue. And the next one, 4 sixth plus 3 fifteenths. Now before we scramble to find some friendly number for 6 and 15, let's just compare that really what we have here is like 2 thirds plus, oops, plus 1 fifth. All I'm doing there is, is reducing these fractions. How do I do that? I look at the fractions, numerator, top number, denominator, bottom number. What factor do they have in common? Well, it's 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3. That's the same thing as 2 out of 3. 3 out of 15, divide both by 3. I get 1 out of 5. So it's really the same exact problem, and we will get 13 out of 15. So this also equals 13 out of 15. All right, now we have the next problem. It's green. 22 out of 40 plus 4 out of 20. So in a problem like this, um, 20 and 40 both meet at 40. So one of the numbers is the friendly number. So when we add 22 out of 40, we just go up 22. All right? 22 out of 40. Every 40th goes up 1. It's a relationship here. And 4 20ths, well, 20 goes into this number 40 twice. So 4 20ths will go up 8. And we get 30. So if I add these two, I really can think of that as 30 out of 40. If I reduce that, what do I get? Divide both by 10, that's like 3 fourths. I'll write that over here. 3 fourths. So that answer right there, I, I could put 3 out of 4. And let's do one more in this string. We have 1 half plus 10 out of 40, plus 2 out of 3. And 40 and 2 and 3, somewhat friendly, um, but we can make this a lot easier on, on ourselves. I'm going to rewrite it as 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. All I'm doing there is dividing 10 and 40 by 10. I'm reducing this fraction um, to a simpler terms, right? This is the same fraction, they're both equivalent, but this is using easier numbers. 1 and 4. So now when I try to set up my double number line, I can see that 2, 4, and 3 all work really nicely with 12. So if I have a 1 half, that's really like going up 6, because half of 12 is 6. 1 half brings me to 6. A fourth of 12 will bring me up 3 to 9. Oops, a fourth bring up 9 up to nine. Two thirds, how far will that bring? Well one third is like is like four. Right? One third is like four sp spaces. So two thirds has to be eight. And this is cool. We go over here. Two thirds will bring me over twelve. And if I add nine and, and eight, because I'm having two thirds there, I get seventeen. So it's like seventeen out of twelve. Which is equal to what? Well one way to deal with this is to think that, okay, 12 goes into 17 once, and there's 5 left over. So 1 and 5 twelfths. And you can think of this point as the whole number. So in 9, when we added 8 to 9, we're going to go up 3, hit 12, and we still have to go up 5 more, because remember, we're hopping up 8. So we'll go 5 past the 12. So it's 1, the whole 12, or 12 out of 12, and then 5 twelfths. So this is a mixed number. All right, hope that helped.